Hello my loves, welcome back to the vlog. I thought I would pick you up just as I'm about to go on a paint and sip experience with my friend Laura. I got my friend Laura a paint and sip experience for Christmas and she's very kindly asked me if I'd like to do the experience with her. I'm just in the process of getting ready, I'm gonna head over to Birmingham in a second because that's where the experience is. Um, I don't really know what to expect to be honest, it says online that there's a bar where you can buy drinks and I kind of expected like drinks to be included within the price of the paint and sip. I know they like include like a paint and a canvas and like an apron and stuff and like they kind of guide you through whatever you're painting. I did kind of expect some alcohol to be included in the price, do you know what I mean? Because £30 per person is kind of expensive. Um, so I'm not really too sure what to expect at the moment. I was really struggling with what to wear for a paint and sip because I don't know if I'm going to get paint on my clothes. I basically just went for something comfy. I've gone for some trusty mom jeans because obviously we're going to be sat down for a few hours. I've just added this jumper because it's literally so cold in the UK right now, it's actually absurd. I'm pretty sure last night it was literally like minus seven, which is just absolutely disgusting, isn't it? Um, and then we don't actually have anything else planned. I presume we'll just like grab some food somewhere afterwards. It's gonna be okay. Yeah, there you go. If you work as yeah. Oh, you got rid of it. Yes. Need that to no mistakes, just happy accidents. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so gross. <laughs> Thank you for your kind words. The whole video is just making me get angry. It's a great video. You've got like yes. the dark blue. No, do you? We just we just aren't this. You also look really good on the camera. It does in real life as well. Slight change of topic. So me and my boyfriend are going to Budapest soon. Do you have any recommendations for things to do whilst we're there, you know, yes. to get the Budapest vibes? Definitely. I lived there for nine years, so I, I've been all around. Yeah, yeah. How long? Uh, five days, I think. Okay, so you might even have time to book, book over because it's two hours train. Right. If you can do a day trip, there is a lake called Balaton. I have just come home, thought I would show you guys the finished look. This feels productive because I'm looking at this and I can already see parts that I would improve next time and change. I needed to do different strokes here for the mountain. Um, this needs to be a more subtle transition. There's too many brush strokes on show here. This moon is just awful. And like some of the coloration's gone a bit wrong there. These are way too like white. They kind of look like eels rather than like the waves, you know? Other than that, I think it's actually gone pretty well. It went better than I expected. I thought this would look even worse because I truly don't have any like artistic abilities whatsoever. I'm not saying I'm not creative, but I'm just not very good artsy wise. Ended up being so much fun. We had like a teacher slash like a host who was kind of like telling us what stages to do it in, what to do next. And she was lovely. She was actually from Budapest and me and Laura like stayed behind after the class and like chatted to her a little bit and she gave me some recommendations because I'm going to Budapest this year, so that was really cute. There's probably only about like 12, 14 people in the class, which I think actually worked out really well. But like, it was called a sip and paint, right? And like, it was only me and Laura who were drinking. I think there was maybe like one other girl in there who had a beer, but like me and Laura, like each had two drinks in there. We went to Weatherspoons and they have this new like vegan burger, which is like a barbecue burger, but it's only there for Veganuary, I think. It's basically just like their Beyond Meat burger with like, like a barbecue sauce on it and onion rings and it was honestly so good like i wish they did that all the time i don't know why they don't keep it on the menu and then we both had a little dessert as well or just a mini one and that was cute and we had like such a nice little catch-up we we're both saying that we would definitely do it again and we we're also saying as well that we want to do like at home sip and paint situation as well where like we basically just buy a canvas get some paints um and just like do it ourselves at home with some like drinks i'm gonna go have a bath take off my makeup and then probably 
head to bed. It's now Sunday, I think I last picked you up on Wednesday. And I've just gone out and I've got myself a little coffee from the Orchard Coffee Lounge. Their coffees are so good. Caramel oat latte every time. I have just been doing a little bit of reading. thought I would update you guys on my little reading journey. Last year I did end up reading 30 books. Um, and I was going to do a video on YouTube, basically, where I rank like the best of the worst books that I read across the year. I'm not really on booktube, but I do love books and I have really recently gotten into reading again. So I've set myself a target in 2024 of reading 35 books because I don't want to set it too high. It's just like a slight increase from last year, so it seems like quite feasible. I'm currently on book number four and book number five because I will read two or three books at the same time. I know that stresses some people out. I wanted to talk about some of the books that I've already read this year. So the first book that I read was Wreck the Halls by Tessa Bailey. Never read a Tessa Bailey book before, but I'll definitely be picking up some more of her stuff. So cute, so lovely, so wholesome, but at the same time, very not wholesome. If you want like a really cute, cozy read to like read in bed with like a hot chocolate, 100% would recommend that, really enjoyed that. My second read of the year was The Roommate by Rosie Dannon. And again, same kind of thing. It was a rom-com, but it ended up being very raunchy and smutty like these two books here um they're very smutty and they're very raunchy so if you basically like reading soft corn um those two are the best books that I've read so far of the year. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed. Again, haven't read anything else by Rosie Dannon. And then my third book of the year was The Burnout by Sophie Kinsella. This was just like a really light, uplifting comedy with like a little, little bit of romance as well. So many wholesome moments, so many moments that just really touched my heart and they ended up like nearly like shedding a tear at some of them. These were kind of all in the same bracket of a rom-com, but I really enjoyed those three. And then the current book that I'm reading, books four and five, are this book by Christian Walmart, and it's Cathedrals of Steam. Basically a book about how London stations came to be how they are today and you know the invention of the very first railway in the UK and the introduction of all the different London stations and inception from steam trains to modern railways to you know even actually prior to railways when we were literally using horses as a form of transport to people in London. And it's actually really interesting and my friend recommended this to me because he's a bit of a train enthusiast. I'm only about page 50 out of like 300 but it's really interesting so far. The other book that I'm reading is Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. It's very weird because it's like the Voice that is being given to us. I mean, it is literally very counterintuitive and it's really not what you'd expect from a sort of self help type of book. It's interesting. I'm not sure how I feel about it at the moment, but it's definitely interesting and there are definitely points in it that I'm 100% like. I actually completely agree with that and that's a really smart way of looking at things but then there are other points where I'm sort of like really disagree with so yeah mixed mixed vibes at the moment but definitely interesting nonetheless. We say we're still in January at the moment so I'm trying to get five books done in January because then that kind of like leaves me with in, in a good position to read 35 for the rest of the year but I feel like when it's so cold outside like all you kind of want to do is like stay inside and read a book like at the moment in the UK we are literally having such a bad storm season like I don't know what's going on but like we've got storm Aisha I think it is and I'm pretty sure I read something the other day that's saying like this is the most stormy season we've like ever had in the UK it's so windy it's so cold I don't ever remember it being this cold in the UK so yeah it's just been absolutely horrible it's kind of the best time in my opinion to like cuddle up with the book and everything but then the alternative is obviously when you're laying on a sun lounge in the sun so it's two extremes basically. I have recently started a book talk account um, and I'll pop it up on the screen here in case you want to go follow it but I'm basically just using that to document my reads, talk about all things book because I think I am just annoying my friends and boyfriend and family when I'm constantly talking about the books I'm reading so I thought let's put that on a bigger platform so I can speak to more people about it. Obviously I'm just not chronically online enough as it is so if you would like to go follow me on book talk feel free to go and do that. I do have another TikTok account but that one's kind of just like a general TikTok talk where I just post wherever I fancy whereas this one's going to be obviously more like books books books. So as I mentioned it's currently Wednesday and today I'm actually going to try and bulk film a bunch of YouTube shorts for you guys. I've got some other filming bits to do so I'm going to try and whack that out today just on that YouTube grind you know. I think the next time I will probably pick you up is tomorrow because I am going to go to a theatre show tomorrow with my friend Laura who literally you just saw. We are going to see everybody's talking about Jamie 
me. Keep calling it Everybody Hates Raymond. I'm so excited. I think Laura's gonna drive down though because obviously she had problems with her train the other day getting to and from Birmingham. I'll see you then. It is now Thursday and I am about to head out and go meet up with Laura in Wolverhampton and we're gonna watch Everybody's Talking About Jamie and I'm so excited. Literally just wearing leggings and this like really oversized Hogwarts sweatshirt. Nick's gonna come pick me up now and he's gonna drop me off at the tram. So let's go. What is my hair doing? If you look deep enough, you might still be able to see Laura somewhere down there. We've just parted ways. Kind of walked Laura like halfway to her car. It's feeling a little bit ominous at the moment um, in Wolverhampton because it's literally, there's not a singular other person here. And it's literally like, it's dead. The show was honestly so much fun. It was funny, it was heart-wrenching, it was endearing, it was sad, it was happy, like, I didn't really know what it was about. Like, I kind of knew the story, but I didn't know, like, the full details of it. And I'm actually really glad that I didn't, like, watch the film beforehand because everything that was happening, like, I was so into it and, like, because Laura had watched the film beforehand so she knew everything that was going to happen. And what I would recommend is, if you're thinking about watching it, don't watch the film beforehand. I'm pretty sure everyone in that theatre cried look all i could hear around me was sniffles like i cried within the first half i cried even more in the second half like it was just beautiful and it was about like being yourself accepting yourself embracing the truest version of you living your life how you want to live your life the songs were absolutely amazing like i can't wait to go home listen to the soundtrack oh my god i'm gonna such such a beautiful show like cannot recommend it enough it's definitely up there for me so i am gonna run to the shop hopefully the sainsbury's is still open uh because i'd like to get some coffee and some snacks for tomorrow oh my god my hair is going crazy i've just curled my hair and it's already gone into like this weird lumpy texture like what's happening here not a fan at all but i think i last picked you guys up a few days ago oh my god this hair is gonna drive me crazy Maybe I can try and sort that before I go. I am just getting ready because I'm going out to have like a little triple date um, with Nick's brother and sister. Oh my God. And they're bringing their partners too. Um, and we're basically going to go grab some food. I think we're just going to go to Weatherspoons for food because we're going to try and keep it like deep and cheerful. Then we've booked to go to Golf Fang afterwards in Birmingham. It used to be called Ghetto Golf. Anyways, I'm just going to go grab my bag, meet up with Nick, and then we're going to all head over to Birmingham and do a bit of Golf Fang. I'll try and bring you guys along. <laughs> to get there. And to be honest, I don't think I really filmed much at all at Golfang, which is such a shame. It was just nice to sort of have like a little get together with everyone. We basically just went to Spoons. The package deal that we booked with Golfang, we basically got like a cocktail included. For some reason, they gave us like two extra drinks vouchers. The night was really fun, but like if I'm being completely honest, like me and my boyfriend ended up having like an argument like halfway through the night. So that kind of ruined the night for me. Um, and I know it ruined the night for him as well, so I kind of wish we could just go back and do it all again and not have an argument. Um, which is probably why I didn't really end up filming much of it because I was kind of not in the mood to be filming after I'd had an argument. Just being completely honest and transparent, sometimes you have arguments with your partner and it's not ideal. Sometimes you'd be like that, but anyways, I am currently fresh faced, I don't have any makeup on because I've woken up quite late. Um, and I'm about to go to an all-you-can-eat buffet to celebrate my uncle's birthday with some of my family. We're going to go to Cosmos. Cosmos have so much good stuff, honestly. Like, I don't even care what anyone says. It has so much good stuff. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go. I think my uncle's here to pick me up now. So, yeah, let's go. It looks so good. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Oh, 
Hangi mu? Oh my god guys, it is literally so cold so we've just come back from Cosmos and oh my god the food was so good like I literally had three plates of food. Nick was supposed to be coming to food but he has been quite under the weather lately so he didn't come. My mum was also supposed to be coming but she's been under the weather too so I'm really trying to not catch anything because they're both quite ill at the moment but it's so cold I'm literally shaking and I look awful but yeah I just couldn't be bothered to put on any makeup today. I'm just setting up a little light because I'm going to film some TikToks um, but it was nice and my uncle seemed to enjoy his birthday which is the main thing and yeah it was just nice to have a little catch up. Oh. That's very bright. God, that's like a scary movie. One of the last times I vlogged, I spoke to you about like the book that I've been reading and I have recently finished reading because um, I think the last time I spoke to you, I was still reading The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck and also Cathedrals of Steam. I'm still reading Cathedrals of Steam because it's sort of like a book where I have to be in the mood to read it. So I'm kind of like only picking it up as and when I like feel like reading it. But in the meantime, I've actually read two new books and it's Losing Hope by Colin Hoover and Finding Cinderella. I just finished this one yesterday and I think tonight I am gonna be starting this next book, All Your Perfects. Um, and it's basically part of her Hopeless series. So big Colleen Hoover fan. I know it's like low key controversial to be a fan of Colleen Hoover um, and I get some of the criticisms of being a Colleen Hoover fan but I actually really do enjoy her books. She's got this book series called like the Hopeless series and this is book two and three. I read the very first book Hopeless last year so there's five books in the series so I read the first three um, and then I'm moving on to books four and five so I'm hoping to get these read quite quickly. I'm really enjoying them so far like really into Colleen Hoover at the moment and um, I've read quite a few of her books already. I think some of my favourites that I read by her were obviously It Ends With Us and Verity. I also I think I liked Ugly Love and It Starts With Us as well liked never never but wasn't a huge fan of it but i think my favorite of hers is probably verity but yeah big big colleen hoover fan after i read this series of hers um i do have another book of hers to read i think it's called confess yeah i think it's called confess and then my friend katie is going to lend me another book of hers um called too late so i'm basically just reading the entire colleen hoover um i was going to say discography but that's music bibliography so i think now i've read six books so far in 2024 um, and then I'm planning on reading these two books which will take me up to eight books and I'm also still reading Cathedrals of Steam so once I've read that I'll take me up to nine books. So we are getting, we're making some leeway towards um, our 35 book total for the year and it's currently a Sunday so I think I'm just gonna have a nice little bath and then just hang out with Nick as well and then tomorrow is basically gonna be a day of job applications for me and trying to sort out a new job um, which I haven't really spoken about too much on here but I'm all over the gaff at the moment when it comes to work and jobs and I just don't know what's wrong with me but I can't decide what I want to do um so I'm dipping my toes into many different pies that doesn't make sense I'm dipping my fingers into many different pies dipping my feet into many different pools I don't know but you get the gist of what I'm saying right but anyways I'm gonna leave it there because I'm gonna go do some filming yeah.